This isn't just a Minecraft 116 survival farm. This is a Minecraft 116 survival farm complex with no less than 11 different items being farmed. I'm gonna showcase it for you now. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Amamance, on my 116 farm series. This farm is a farm complex. It will give you lots and lots of different things, all working in Minecraft 116 survival. This is going to give you iron, it's going to give you trading, carrots, wool, bamboo, sugarcane, wood, bone mill, beef, leather, and rotten flesh, all at the same time. I'm going to showcase it for you right now. This video is sponsored by Apex Hosting, who are the providers of all of the Avaverse server family. If you want details on how to go and play on the Avaverse, the link is in the description below for the Discord. Apex offers a superb service, which is why I use them on the Avaverse. 24 seven server uptime, it is incredible. They support mods and plugins, so if you wanted to play vanilla Minecraft, that's fine. If you wanted to do Skyblocks, that's fine too. With server locations across the world, you're gonna find that you've got really great latency, no matter where in the world you are. They're already providing 116 servers and you've got codes at the checkout to be able to reduce your prices. Link is in the description below if you are interested in opening up your own server for 116. This farm sits almost exclusively within a 27 by 27 square, and that includes the fencing around the outside, which is shown by this blue square. The only bits that sneak outside of that is the little pink pod, which is a villager pod for the carrots, and the little purple stripes, which are there to be able to collect rotten flesh from zombies. Other than that, we have got in the top left our bone mill farm, which is in yellow, top right we've got our wood farm which is in brown we've got wool in white we've got carrot there in pink we've got sugarcane in light green we have got bamboo in red we have got our beef and leather farm in like a magenta color our iron farm is in blue and orange that's where our trading center is coming at it from the side of the cow farm we're going to start why not, with iron, given a golem is popping his way there anyway. That iron farm is just four by five. It is teeny tiny, but it is plenty big enough to be able to generate lots of iron for you. Generated by the villagers that are going mental as a result of this little bob fella in the middle, this zombie, which is causing them to become stressed. You'll notice that these have all got free workstations. That is gonna allow you to trade with them, which you can do if you get close enough. But whilst they're running around like mad, they are sometimes a little difficult to get hold of. So what you can do is you can throw this lever. That lever will hide Bob. And they get ever much calmer now. And if I click on him there, you'll see that I can now trade with him very happily. And I can come around the outsides and trade with the others quite happily as well. Whether it's the farmer or the weaponsmith or indeed the other guy over there. That is the trader and also the iron farm. We have the beef farm, classic beef farm. Feed up the cows and an entity cramming causes them to die when they're adults but not as children and give you raw beef and leather. That is a good start. We've also got our bamboo farm, fairly slow growing bamboo farm. You could make it slightly bigger. You do have a little bit of room sideways should you wish to do so. But this will give you bamboo and it will do it automatically for you. Really simple design. If you want a tutorial, let me know. Hashtag bamboo in the comments. This is the sugarcane farm. This is a little bigger, but sugarcane is a slow grower, so you don't get loads and loads, but you do get a little bit. Again, if you would like a tutorial for this in 116, let me know in the comments below. Put hashtag sugarcane, and I'll let you know how to make that one. This is our bone mill farm, and it makes bone mill as a result of this farmer villager harvesting up his crops and taking the seeds, not the wheat, and throwing them into the composter, which gives you bone meal over time. It's not, again, it's not super fast, but it does give you bone meal over time, completely for free, completely automatically. This is our tree farm. Trees in a checkerboard pattern, five across, nine in that direction, and in between each one, we've got a torch. That stops any iron golems from spawning on those squares between the trees, because theoretically, if the torches weren't there, they would be available. You make sure when you chop these trees down, you replace them immediately with a sapling, otherwise you run the risk of the iron golems spawning on the outside. 
This is our triple wall farm. Link in the description below for the tutorial that I did just a couple of weeks ago on this. It is dirt, dirt easy. I've dyed a couple of these sheep, red, yellow, and also got white, and they collect up at a fairly decent rate of wool, just with three sheep. On the other side, we've got our carrot farm. So if I come around here, you can see that this villager inside this pod hasn't got any carrots. The farmer has got loads of carrots and he gives them to the villager in the pod. However, he can't get to them. And inside here, all the carrots get collected up and we can have them for whatever it is we want. Maybe it's for trading with the fella inside here. Don't forget, if you called Bob to drop down into his hole, flick the switch again and Bob will pop up and carry on scaring those villagers so the iron golems will continue to spawn. What we've also got is rotten flesh. And rotten flesh is collected in two separate areas. It's nothing more complicated than a trench around the outside of the two farming areas. At night time, zombies flow in to this area. And because they think that these trapdoors are solid blocks, they fall into this too deep hole. They can't get out. And then when daytime comes along, oh dear, the zombies burn up and they drop their flesh and occasionally you do get things like arrows and bones etc in there as well as other mobs fall in. There is another one over by the carrot farm. All the villager enclosures are covered up by these slabs to make sure should there be any lightning strikes we are not going to have any witches in our farm because that would break it. You can see there there are already some zombies falling into those channels collecting up ready for the daylight to turn them into rotten flesh for us. Any blocks outside of the iron golem spawning chamber that could potentially cause an iron golem to spawn outside and therefore not die, like this poor fella here, poor Albert, have been changed into path blocks or spot and slabs or any other type of block that will not spawn an iron golem. All of the farms in this complex are really simple on their own to do and we've brought them in together into this 27 by 27 square for space efficiency. I reckon if you tried you could improve it even further. If you want any tutorials on any of the individual farms let me know in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to do it for you. All of these farms working beautifully in Minecraft Survival 116. If you have enjoyed this showcase video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it, and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye. Bye-bye, Albert.